Wir sind gleich fertig. Almost done. Ja. Right? Yeah. <laughs> squeaky, squeaky. Hi, my name's Jordan. My pronouns are she, her, and I'm a beautiful trans princess. So I think there are, there are a lot of things, to be honest, it would be impossible to list all of them, but I think you'll find that with trans women and trans men too, we don't like to talk about surgeries, we don't like to talk about hormones, we don't like to talk about like our previous identity, our dead names, things like that. I mean, we might open up to you to talk about that, but it's not your place to ask, I would say. So it's quite an interesting question um, because I think you'll find that a lot of trans people, maybe not everyone, feel that clothing isn't necessarily gendered in a sense. So I can't point to someone I would say as a cross-dresser as opposed to someone that identifies as trans. Um, but I think whatever makes you comfortable, um, as long as you're not kind of mocking people or being ironic, then If that's what makes you feel sexy, then wear it, you know? Okay. So, um, I guess a cross-dresser would be someone who identifies as cis, you know, let's say a cis guy, um, might even be straight, um, often then they're, they're gay, um, but they like to wear quote-unquote women's clothing um, for sexual gratification or just because it feels nice, but they don't think of themselves as being um, another gender other than what they were born as. Um, so it certainly does give me dysphoria. I mean, if you haven't heard the word, dysphoria basically means that feeling of being uncomfortable in your own body. So trans people might, let's say they were born and they have a penis, but they wish they didn't. Uh, then if someone touches it, it makes them uh, feel uncomfortable in their body. So I don't like people touching my chest at all, um, unless they're like a partner or a lover. I hate when strangers do it, it makes me really uncomfortable. Um, I would say just don't draw attention to people's private parts. They probably don't want to talk about it, you know? So I absolutely feel that way. Um, I've been going to KV for a long time. There's loads of trans people there. I've met a lot of friends there that are trans. I've never felt uncomfortable about it personally. Um, I think it's very welcoming. You get people of all shapes and sizes there. So I think for me, it's not crucial, but I very much enjoy play that is like gender affirming. So um, I like to feel feminine when I'm playing. I like to be treated like a princess, like a strong woman, you know? I don't want to feel like necessarily, how <laughs> to phrase this, that I'm leading everything, you know? I want to be adored and worshipped. So for me, I feel like it's really important to wear clothing that affirms my gender. Um, I don't actually believe strictly that clothing is gendered, but I find that, for example, if I wear just trousers and a jacket, that I get constantly misgendered, people calling me he, him, whatever else, and I don't enjoy that. And also I just feel the best when I'm wearing like a little mini skirt and heels or something. Um, but you know, it's about what you're comfortable in and what makes you feel good. That's how I feel good. So actually very, very recently, I think that in the media you'll hear a lot of this narrative that people were born this way and they always knew that they were in the wrong body or something. And obviously that is true for some people, but I have a lot of trans friends and that's not true of everyone. A lot of people, I mean, I'm 28 and I realized when I was 27, 
Um, and it was an absolutely life-changing moment. I couldn't explain to you how much better I feel after realizing that. But um, yeah, quite late in life, actually, is the answer. So um, it's not really a cut and dry answer there. I would say my close friends have all been fantastic. Um, what, you know, no difficulty whatsoever. As soon as, oh, please call me she now, done, no problem. Um, quite frankly, if they weren't like that, they wouldn't be in my life. I don't have time for that. But family is always a tricky one because you don't get to choose them. And um, it's a lot of reminding people and awkward conversations, but I think that's just par for the course, you know? So um, that's a tricky one. I mean, if I don't care how people want to dress and, you know, if you're a, a cis guy and you want to dress, you know, in some anime cosplay outfit, fantastic. I'm happy for you. If someone else wants to fuck you, even better. Um, I think there is definitely, it can be a tricky one because I find that like I get a lot of, um, gay men hitting on me, assuming that that's who I am and what I'm about, that I am a guy who dresses girly or whatever it is. And that's not the case. And if I just, me personally, I'm mostly attracted to women. So just because I look this way, it doesn't mean um, that I'm interested in you, gay man. <laughs> That was slightly harsh. <laughs> it's true though, all day, every day. Hi darling. No, but that, that's your experience. Yeah. Funny.